the circles are easy, obviously. You just take the circle tool, draw a circle with the shift key, still hold the space bar down, and just draw it in there. This one, doing the same here, just kind of setting it up. And the little one, not too hard. I'm trying to find the inside of it. And uh, this part here, this little line here, and you're going to take another circle, so if I can get you to watch this. This uh, center, I'm in the center because of the smart guide, so I just hold the option and shift key, and you see it makes it that circle right there. Then I just go to the eraser to get the scissors tool, and just click on the path. Actually, it's almost a 90-degree section there and just click off this part and delete it. So now I have that section sitting there. Now the tricky part is doing this uh, gear section and you're going to try to draw it with a couple of lines taken out of it instead of trying to draw it all the way. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way through this piece. So there's twelve pieces. So I go to the star tool and um, I'm going to go in the middle and click with the option and drag this across and see if not I can count how many I've got in there. One, two, three, four. And if you lose track, just use the arrow key to bring it down. There's five, six, then go the other way. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now I have twelve of these. The shift key keeps it straight. Okay. So I'm going to go just a little bit below it. Now I have the option shift and I'm going to hold the command key and let go of the uh, option and let it extend beyond this. So when you take a look, the points are going way beyond it. Okay, so now I have this star shape. There's 12 of them. So I'm going to go back to get the circle, lips tool, find the center, lets the center show. So the option holds it there and the shift key brings it out. And now I go to the outside edge of this. So now I have the star with this on top of it. So now I shift key to get both of these together. And then with the pathfinder, I have a unite. And that brings that piece in together like that. Okay. Now the part that's clipped off here, I do the same thing, only now I make a circle that's a little bit smaller, like so. That's pretty close. And now I do the same thing, shift key these two. And you can kind of get a, at least the section part of it and uh, intersect that piece. Now I intersected it backwards, so I have to um, adhere it. But at least you can kind of get an idea of how it's placed in there to uh, piece. Now you have a couple of them. You have divide, trim. So when you take a look at that, Oops. The sections here merge. You have the other one cropping it. Don't use that one. Minusing the back. Here's the divide. Now divide, nothing happens, but when you go back in here, you can see that these uh, pieces are taken out. <clears throat> okay, so see if you can 